Hello everyone. Today's session is about LabTech Control Center Management Integration. So we are looking at the management console of the center stack and then we are looking at the files and folders view. So before we do the LabTech Control Center Integration, let's have a um, big picture and then have a whiteboard drawing things out. So let's say at the center that's the internet. Um, may not look too good as an internet, but just some kind of a cloud there. And as a service provider, you are managing um, the file servers for your customers. So let's say this is a file server uh, for the number three um, tenant. You know, have one, two, three, three different customers for you. And those customers, let's call them T1, T2, like tenant one, tenant two, or you can call them, you know, client one, client two, and client three. So you're managing the file servers for them and then they are accessing the file servers over the internet. Um, traditionally, maybe they have a uh, VPN or like, you know, from building to building so they can connect to your uh, file servers hosting by you and you may be creating some kind of internal network for them. So they're accessing them. And now with the center stack server, we can expose the file servers in a brand new way, like the new cloud way using the browsers, web browsers, mobile phones, and uh, Windows and Mac. And then we can use the LabTech control center to uh, manage that. So that's the kind of like the high, you know, high level, big picture of what we are doing here. We want to connect the, let's say, a customer's, a client's uh, file server over the web portal and the mobile you know, interface, uh, mobile phones, so they can access the file servers in a brand new way, so they can be more productive. So now let's get started. Um, so the customers already have a file server, but you know, to simulate that, we are using a single server to, to do that demonstration. So we're just going to create a folder on um, this machine. So assuming um, the customer tenant three, the folders, uh, the file servers they want to connect to is coming from this specific folder. And now let's drop into the control center. And the first thing you need to check out is the uh, integration tab, you know, click the dashboard. And then now there's a new center stack um, tab you can connect to. So there's admin email, admin password, and then the access URL. So these are the um, the cluster admin credentials you can save away to do single, uh, like a single sign-on management. So this is the uh, username, the password, and then this is the URL. And so, so you can do that. And to save that away, and after that, um, you just click the save settings. Um, and then after you click the save settings, you could just use, uh, continue to use the uh, the single sign-on integration from here, you can create users um, inside or you can just open the management console in web browser. Um, so the credential, saved away credential, we just pop you right into the management console. Um, so you can start managing um, stuff from one single place, um, the LabTech control center. So that's the, uh, the top level integration, the master admin. So now we need to create um, uh, the second level of integration, which is the client level um, in the, uh, we call, call them tenants, right? So in the LabTech uh, interface, it's called a client. So a client is mapped to a center stack tenant. So we're going to create a new client here and then just give the user, you know, the first name, last name, address, and all those information. Um, so that will be uh, saved away. So, and then we're going to just um, create a new client for demonstration. And then we're going to click the add new. So now the new um, client is created. And if you double click on this new client, you're going to see there is also a Gladinet center stack tab. And you can see the first name, last name is already, already pre-populated. And uh, I didn't type in the email. So email field is still empty. So let's just go ahead and call it uh, tenant3 at gladinet.com and then use a plan, let's say, um, just give it something like, um, you know, 10 gig and um, 
10 users and 200 gig, right? So now here's the um, the part that you will connect the users um, um, file server network share because as a service provider, typically you know where the um, that the user's server is, right? Because you are managing it for them, so so you're helping them connect back to their file server. So you just uh, connect back to the file server. So for now, I'm using a C drive because I'm doing a single server demonstration here. But you know, in reality, you you are going to have you know racks racks of file servers. You know, each one for different um, tenants, different clients out there. So you need to provide the location for the storage and the username and password uh, that's capable of accessing that location. So now you can just save it away. Um, and after save it away, then this specific client uh, will have the, the file sync and share service and then you are going to do the billings and um, you know the, the additional revenue uh, stuff on the side right but from the management council from the center stack management council you can see that this tenant 3 is already created so now this tenant 3 can log in and the, the default password is admin123 you know so the tenant can log in and um, and later change the password himself, but you know for default creation, you, you know the default password is admin one two three. So now let's create a folder. Um, so let's see, we just create a folder. Um, the whole thing is a file sync and share solution, right? So so files and folders are kind of the um, the core of the um, the func core functionality here. So we create a docs folder um, and then you can see, you know, compares to like accessing file servers before, you now can access a file server over the internet, right, over the browser and then, you know, mobile phones and all those stuff. So not just the VPN kind of old way of accessing. And the readme file was updated, a thumbnail was generated. And so now let's go back to the back end side to see. And then you can see that, you know, on this tenant three folder, the docs folder shows up and then the readme text shows up, right? These, you know, readme.txt and the folder were created over the web browser. So that's the functionality you want. You know, new additional functionality you want to give it to the customer. And then in addition, you know, bring in new recurring revenue. So now to, you know, to kind of, a, you know, whiteboarding this, that we help tenant number three to connect through the center stack server uh, to the file server. And then we use LabTech control center to do so, uh, to create a tenant number three in center stack and connect to their file server number three. Like we use a C drive tenant three photos to simulate that, but you can use a, um, like a, you know, UNC path to point to the file server. So with that said, um, we create a tenant, right? So now we can continue to go a little bit deeper into the tenant to um, to help creating the users. Remember, we assigned about ten users to this tenant, right? So we are going to collect ten users, you know, revenue from this tenant, but we will help this customer uh, create some users. And this you know, tenant, they ha they can they can self uh, help. They, they can they can help themselves and create the users but you know if you want to create some users for them uh, you can do it from the lab tech as well uh, integration as well so now we have a new um, the tenant has a new contact right there's Alice so we're going to assign Alice to the solution as well so let's enable the center stack file sync and share solution for Alice and then we're going to give Alice um, let's say you know some storage quota and you can see the first name, last name, email are pulled in from, from LabTag already, right? So pre-populated field, uh, enable version control from, for, you know, for Alice. So now let's see, um, John, you know, Joe, Joe Doe, that's the admin, right? So now he sees two users. He, he can also manage the, um, the users from this interface, you know, himself if he wants to, so you don't really have to help him. Um, but if you know he wants you to help him, you can do it from LabTag, right, from one single place. So now we can log in as Alice. A, a, a new user's password is like ten one two three. So Alice later on can can change the password herself. Um, but for now, she can just log in, and I believe um, also she's going to get an email, you know, instruct her how to log in, but. The first time you so just ten and you know one two three she, she can get in. 
and later she can change the password. So as a quick review, um, we have a dashboard integration that uh, has the master admin's credential saved away and then single single sign on um, management go to the web management portal. We have a tenant level integration so you can start selling the solution to customers like um, so so that's all. Thank you.